Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. So in this uh, meeting, we will learn about uh, chapter 1. Uh, in this chapter 1, we have four subtopics to cover. Okay, so for your information guys, so uh, the TB, TB refer to the textbook, okay. So the chapter 1 that uh, for your uh, fin 420 when you want to go further uh, details in your reading, you can go to your textbook and go to the chapter 1. Okay, and then uh, the bracket here, the bracket 14, that's me, uh, page 14. This is referred to the chapter in your textbook. Okay, textbook chapter, I write it here. Okay. And then another one, this is refer to the page number. Okay. For your textbook, so uh, you can use any textbook that written by the Ross. Okay. So, uh, actually it is similar but it is based on the version. In uh, For my lecture, I will use this book okay this edition as the reference book okay because this is the recent or the latest edition lah. okay so uh, for example just now page 14 so that means i refer to page 14 in this book but uh, reg regardless whether you have this book or this book all of these are actually uh, have the same, they have the same content okay but uh, this is the latest version that's all so the text uh, the chapter one the chapter one here in textbook here uh, discuss about the fundamental of finance what is corporate finance uh, the goal of the fund manager and so on so it is the same as in this book so uh, again either you have uh, either you have this book or this book so it doesn't matter okay but in my class okay in, uh, during my lecture when i said page 14 page 2 page 8 it referred to this page all right so now we go to the uh, the main content okay financial market and business organization so uh, there are two terms here that you need to know which are financial market and also business organization. So what you mean by financial market? Okay, so basic idea, when we talk about financial market, uh, pasar kewangan in Malay, when we direct translation is the pasar kewangan. So what we mean by uh, pasar kewangan? So these are the general definition. It said that financial market is a market in which people trade, okay, and then uh, financial and derivative at low transaction cost. Some of the securities include stock and bond, raw material and precious metal which are known in the financial market as commodities. Okay, so it highlight here the financial market is re financial market actually it is a market or it is a place the people trade financial security. Orang jual beli financial security. So what you mean by financial security? The financial security, uh, it, it, it is simple like here. Uh, kita pergi pasar malam, okay? The night market. So what are the item that we have the, at the pasar malam? So in the pasar malam, definitely we have the buy, the buyer and seller, right? Ada orang jual, dan ada orang beli. So what are the item that they are selling there? Ada baju lah, ada lauk lah, and so on. So specifically in the financial market, there is a place of buying and selling. So what kind of uh, item that they buy and sell? They buy and sell all of the financial securities. Financial securities are the financial instrument adalah benda yang dijualkan di situ. For example, contoh financial securities ni apa? For example, uh, stock, saham, okay, bond, raw material, raw material such as cocoa, uh, then precious metals, precious metals such as gold, 
okay silver uh, and then the financial market as commodities commodities uh, para diniagakan something like that lah alright so these are the general basic idea of Malaysian financial system so financial system in Malaysia we have financial institution and financial market and I believe that all of you are very familiar with the financial institution the general idea of financial institution when we talk about financial institution financial institution refer to the bank okay so what is what are the main purpose or what are the the, the, the reason of having bank okay so bank as you know that bank tempat dia untuk apa in 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 the layman we say that bank is the place we want to place or we want to park we want to park our cash at the safe place okay so that is the best so actually when you have cash for example uh, and i believe that each of you you have account you have open your account at the bank okay any bank at the bank islam cimb and so on so kalau tak macam mana you nak keluarkan duit apa kan so the bank is like it is a must for us okay so the, the, the general idea of financial institution is like uh, when we have cash okay cash for example you have ptptn you get 2500 so we, we you will not receive that 2500 in cash right so the ptptn will transfer the cash to the account then you will draw it bit by bit so that means you have the cash 250,000 and you put or in finance word we call it as deposit you deposit your cash into your account let's say saving account you letak duit dekat saving account so when you deposit okay this is several finance term that i want you to get familiar okay deposit maksudnya apa deposit you letakkan duit dalam bank so when you deposit cash to the bank this is actually you become a lender for the bank hmm. so you should be proud lah kan you are a lender so you pergi lalu dekat bank kan you cakap dekat bank eh i can i letak duit dekat you tau ha i ni you are my borrower actually i am your lender sebab i letak duit dekat you ha, macam tu lah you boleh kata tapi kalau you nak orang kata you tak pelik tu tak apalah kan ha, tapi indirectly kita kata macam tu okay so when you park your money or you deposit your cash you are the lender you bagi pinjam duit dekat bank that's why if you notice that bila when you put your cash in the bank bank will give you some uh, interest as the return dia akan letak kalau you letak duit kat sini you akan perasan dapat dapat uh, uh, berapa sen yang dia akan bagi dekat you okay and then for, uh, okay for example uh, mr ali okay mr ali want to buy a house uh, and then the, the 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 cost of the house is 500000 definitely he won't pay for the cash okay so mr ali will go to the bank and ask for the bank loan so mr ali ask for cash why mr ali ask for cash so uh, ask for cash why because he want to buy a home okay so when mr ali need cash go to the bank at this part we call mr ali as a borrower okay so basically the general idea of malaysian financial system it meet between borrower and lender Okay, this is you very familiar about it. Okay, now how about the financial market? So as the name imply, this is about the market. What I mean by the market? Market is the pasar, kan? So when we talk about the market, it is all about the meeting place for the seller and the buyer. Okay, so for the seller here, when sell 
and buy. So what kind of seller? What kind of what kind of item? What kind of good that they want to buy and sell? Nak jual apa dekat sini ni? So in the financial market, they will buy and sell financial securities, ataupun kita kata sebagai financial instrument. Contoh financial instrument such as stock, share, bond, and then I told you apa tu kita ada uh, gold, uh, kita ada copper, kita ada rubber, and so on. Okay, so these are the financial market. So for for you to get familiar regarding financial market, okay, uh, you boleh tengok textbook. Another one, uh, these are the few videos. Okay, the videos, these very interesting videos. Video ni dalam 2 minit macam tu je. Okay, so you can watch the videos by your own. Okay, it's very, uh, what we call is it, cut, it's very short video, but yet it is very um, meaningful. Okay, so let's get familiar with the financial with the financial term. So in the financial term, when you learn financial uh, management, you will um, get used or you must get used with the with the word securities, financial instrument. So uh, as per say that financial instrument, what you mean by financial instrument? Financial instrument is the, the uh, bahasa kampung ni kita kata benda yang kita nak jual beli lah dekat financial market. Okay. Financial instrument, financial securities, this is the same terms, benda yang sama. So, financial instrument, financial, kita nak jual beli apa dekat sini? Ah, ni yang saya kata tadi tu. It can be koko, uh, no, no, no. Ini, tak tu sangat. Okay. So, financial instrument, normally, in this paper, uh, sorry, in this chapter, we will refer to the financial paper. Okay, financial paper. So, financial paper, for example, debt, bond, equity and stock. Okay, so, ni tak boleh pack pula kan? So, tadi tu, in the previous slide, regarding the financial market, okay, I did told you that in the financial market, they must have the seller and the buyer. It is a place where seller and buyer okay, meet together. So, the buyer and seller meet together to buy and sell what? They will buy and sell this financial instrument or financial security. So, normally when we talk about financial security, financial security is the financial paper. Financial instrument, financial instrument, uh, kalau financial instrument, uh, yang ni yang ada apa tu macam gold, cocoa, rubber and so on. Okay. But for the financial security, normally it refer to the bond, uh, debt, bond, equity, preferred share or preferred stock. So, for the, in the uh, debt, okay, normally to buy and sell item, okay, this is you will get familiar with this term, debt. Debt. Bond. What is this? This is one of the financial paper okay, that the company had. For example, uh, this is only example. Okay, For example, A Asia. A Asia nak, uh, need 500 million. Okay, So, A Asia need 500 million. So, A Asia will go to the financial market. Dia akan pergi dekat financial market. And then, he will sell paper. Sebab apa dia menjual? Sebab dengan jual dia akan dapat duit. Dia jual apa? Ha, dia boleh jual sama ada jual bond ataupun dia boleh jual dia punya saham equity. Okay. So when A Asia sell bond so actually kita namakan dia A Asia telah berhutang. The issuance of bond, it include of the debt. Okay. When we talk about share or stock, so if A Asia, in order to get that 500 million, A Asia we go to the financial market and then issue share, jual saham, terbitkan saham. So, that we call it as the equity. Saham adalah equity. 
Okay, so we will, uh, if you get confused about this term, no worries because we will get, uh, we will go, uh, we will go about the term debt, equity, bond, share and stock in the following chapter. Okay, so uh, some of the term that you must familiar is the word liquidity and leverage. Liquidity refer to the liquidate. Liquidate adalah uh, kecairan. Okay. Uh, in terms of what I, uh, example, um, let me think. All right, so I give you two example of the asset, the the, the the physical asset, benda yang ada, benda yang physical that mean benda yang kita boleh sentuh. Okay, so let's say uh, you want to get fast cash, you ada tanah, ini bukan you lah, parents you. So ada tanah, okay. Another one, your parents have the jewelries. Barang kemas, gelang, rantai, whatsoever. So, regarding these two, tanah, the land and the jewellery, tanah dan juga uh, barang kemas ni, which one is more liquidate? Mana yang cepat untuk kita dapat jual? Okay, definitely, uh, untuk kita dapatkan cash itu, yang paling cepat adalah barang kemas. Sebab barang kemas, you can go to the Arahnu or you can go to the uh, pawn shop or you can go to the kedai mana-mana, you boleh jual barang kemas you tu in order to get cash. But for the land, is quite difficult for you to get fast cash. So, the term liquidity actually, when we talk about liquidity, it refer to how fast, okay, that instrument or how fast the security can convert into cash. That is liquidity. Okay. And then the leverage. The leverage, financial leverage and so on. In other words, when we talk about leverage, leverage ni, ini adalah berapa banyak pinjaman yang dia ada. That is the financial leverage. Alright. So, these are the basic terms that uh, you will um, commonly, you, uh, you will... Uh, we will apply, okay, in the fin photo. Okay, so this again, the financial market, the financial market, basically uh, capital market and money market. So, uh, these are the details about the financial market. But the term, the, 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 the most object, the most important is you must know what it means by financial market. Again, financial market, it meet between the seller and the buyer again buyer and seller what are they sell here they sell financial instrument what do you mean by financial instrument financial instrument adalah financial security financial paper contoh financial instrument apa yang diniagakan dekat financial market ni ok contohnya adalah bond ok and then, contohnya adalah stock. And then, for the precious item, precious metal such as gold. And then, uh, kalau uh, raw material, kita ada crude palm oil, ada derivative item and so on. Okay. Okay, so this is money market, capital market uh, for your level. Uh, Tak perlu in details about this, but the, the, the general idea you need to know uh, what you mean by financial market. Okay, so but uh, for, uh, for guys, if you want to know uh, the difference between what you mean by money market, capital market, the difference between the primary and secondary market, you can ask me. Okay, all right, now we go to the legal form of business transaction types of the business. So basically, we have three types of business. So the type of business, jenis-jenis perniagaan di Malaysia, di, di, di dunia actually. So, we have sole proprietorship, we have the partnership and the third one, we have the corporation. Okay, so for the uh, sole proprietorship, sole proprietorship, nama lagi sole, that mean only one owner, seorang je. Okay, so anybody can open your own business and register with the SSM so you can get the sole proprietorship. 
Okay, so for the sole proprietorship, there is several advantage and disadvantage by opening the sole proprietorship. One of the advantage by having uh, registered your company and a sole proprietorship because there is only one owner. You are the one owner. So that means all the profit, you will get it by your own. Okay, the profit is not being shared with others. Okay, but one of the disadvantage of having sole proprietorship, so, uh, so since you only you there is only one of you so you need more uh, capital ataupun modal and let's say uh, bukan you lah orang lain kan so kalau company tu registered under Mr. Abu under sole proprietorship if anything happen to Mr. Abu he pass away or uh, an sudden death or unexpected uh, something happen to him okay so automatically his business will uh, will stop or terminate at the moment okay and then the second type of business organization is partnership as the name imply partner what i mean by partner uh, partner lah all right so for the partnership uh, it can be two or more partner okay so uh, the, the the advantage of partnership uh, that be the advantage sometimes we, we say that uh, it's better to have two heads rather than one because uh, when we have many the more the merrier something like that can because we have the idea we can pull capital together and then we can expand more the business is rather uh, to work to, to, to work in group rather than to work alone in the sole proprietorship so that's one of the advantage of the partnership okay but the disadvantage of a uh, partnership is um sometimes um partnership normally it will uh, incur with the orang kata apa um ya, bila you tak sekepala macam tu kan and then uh, the, the, the the one and another they want to dominate the business okay so want to grow in the business and then they have their own vision they have their own idea they have their own plan to grow the business and then they are not uh, orang in other words they tak ngam and so on so itu akan menyebabkan conflict in the business partnership okay so that's why in the partnership dia macam ni je lah when, when we want to refer it with your uh, student okay with the campus life okay so when you do assignment okay uh, sometimes we feel that it's better for us to do individual assignment rather than a group assignment right okay why because for the individual assignment you can do by your own and there is no free rider hmm. but uh, there is uh, that individual assignment we can relate with the sole proprietorship you can do your own freestyle okay you have no conflict with others but the disadvantage is Sometimes we will feel that burnout. Okay, you need ideas by others. Okay, so in some cases, the group assignment is much better rather than individual. You feel something like that. So the group assignment is something like partnership. But the disadvantage of having the group assignment, uh, some of you uh, might work might work more than the other group members. Itu biasa lah kan yang kita kena kan kadang kadang kita je kena buat kerja kan. Uh, kan orang lain mengumpang je kan and then the idea dia apa tak apa tak apa tak apa kau buat uh, assignment tu nanti aku bayar yang tu tu aku bayar macam ni seorang je ada duit macam kita tak ada duit kan kita, kita rasa macam eh I, I don't want your money but I want your idea okay like we work together something we feel like that kan uh, it's quite offended when people want to give you duit je kan macam lah like kita tak ada duit sangat kan geram kan uh, macam tu lah so it same goes by with the partnership hmm Okay, jadi pun nak cakap benda lain, sorry. Okay. Alright, so the last one is the corporation. For the corporation, um, corporation, uh, this is the, nama lagi corporation. So for the corporation, there is no, uh, uh, there is unlimited number of shareholder. So for in the financial market, nak jual beli instrument tadi, siapa yang boleh jual instrument tu? Okay, yang boleh jual instrumen whether want to sell um, bond or share only corporation it is only corporation 
who can buy and sell their financial instrument in the financial market. These two sole proprietorship tak boleh, partnership pun tak boleh nak menjual. Okay, so kata corporation can sue. Okay, kata sini. Corporation can sue, be sued, purchase, sell and own property. Shareholder liability is strict to the amount of investment. Lease of corporate do not depend on the status. Ownership can be easily transferred. So, what it mean by ownership can be easily transferred? Okay. So, um, dear, so, uh, when the company, okay, I put several examples, eh. Uh, I believe that you are familiar with uh, corporation company. Banyak kan corporation kan kita ambil yang senang. Bila terlalu banyak sangat kita jadi tak tahu nak bagi contoh apa. Corporation. Oh my God. Saham. Kita beli saham apa? Okay. GDEX. Okay. For example GDEX. So, uh, GDEX is one of the corporations. Sebab GDEX, you tengok kalau you masuk Bursa Malaysia, nama GDEX tu ada. So, GDEX. Uh, GDEX yang apa tu? Pos laju. Uh, macam tu, geng-geng pos laju, JNT. Tapi ni GDEX. Okay. Okay. So, GDEX. Uh, because I bought saham GDEX. Okay. So, bagi contoh lah. So, saya, I, I bought uh, GDEX share in the Bursa Malaysia. So, when I bought the GDEX in the Bursa Malaysia, indirectly, uh, I can say that I am the owner of the, uh, not owner, I, I, I am a part of the GDEX. So, what it mean by uh, apart from the GDEX? So, when GDEX give the dividend, okay, I also give the dividend. Okay, itu dia adalah that what it mean by the ownership of the corporation can be easily transferred. Okay.